Hello, it's John Burford, and this is a brief introductory video on how I use Fibonacci to give me vital information on where to enter a trade when trading in the same direction as the prevailing trend. Uh, for instance, in a bull or a rising market, it's a, a good idea usually to be buying on a dip. So instead of guessing where to get in, Fibonacci can give you fairly precise entry points in advance. And that's one key reason why I like using Fibonacci. Now I'll present here just a couple of basic ideas so that you can use them right away in your own trading. I'll give some more advanced methods in a later video. Now if you're interested in, in learning about Fibonacci, he was a, a mathematician in the 12th century. In fact, he was born almost 750 years ago, which makes it quite remarkable that we're still using his key insights into uh, uh, the growth and decay of natural systems. And that's what we're dealing with here, of course, in markets. It's a natural system. Okay, so what is Fibonacci? What, what, what do we mean by it? Well, it's, a, it's really a series of percentage retracements from uh, extreme points. In other words, from a top and from a, a low. Um, so um, it'll give you, in fact, uh, the, the spread betting platform that you use, I'm sure we'll have one. Here's one, here's mine here. Um, all the very hard work is done for us by the, by the software. Uh, so we don't have to work out um, percentage levels by hand or anything like that. We just apply it to the market. Let's say, let's take this point here. I'm going to click on this low here, and um, I want to investigate. So, oh, let's let's get it. I must click on that, and I must investigate. Let, let's investigate this this one here. There we go. That high there. I've just move that up so that um, that this is the the high now this is a bull market of course and so we're looking for a dip and in fact here if I can just um, give you a bit more room so you can see there we go um, f so from this low here uh, to this high here we're looking for percentage retracements this is the first one which is the 23 percent level and right away we see that the market did in fact come down to the 23% level retrace, found support, just a little overshoot here, and then resumed the upward trend. So that's how I use uh, my Fibonacci tool. I select a significant low, which obviously is this one here, and if I'm trading in real time, say around here, um, I can say, right, well that is uh, the most recent significant high so far, um, let's see what happens if I put my Fibonacci tool on it. And as the market drops down, it hits a Fibonacci level and you're waiting there a day or more in advance and you could actually be placing your entry buy orders there. Now, I will say in practical terms, uh, the market, of course, um, could have uh, moved down to this point. Of course it could. It could have moved down to this point. Uh, but the, but the the the, uh, the essential point in trading though is to is to select a point and and in fact you may have other methods which will give you more clues uh, as to which of these Fibonacci levels the market will actually turn around at. Um, in this case, I don't have another one, so we're we're flying blind here with Fibonacci. So you could have actually been setting a resting buy order in here. And, of course, it would never be touched because the market went on. That's, that's, that's the vagaries of trading, of course. Um, and, in, in, in fact, you could be buying here. You, you would have been all right, of course, because the market moved up. But then what sometimes happens is the market moves up, then it moves down again, perhaps towards another Fibonacci level, and you'll be stopped out. Well, that's trading. There's no guarantees. But all I want to show you in this video is that uh, very, very often, retracements uh, do stop at Fibonacci retracement levels. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. Uh, let me choose another example from more recent trading. This is the very complex uh, <laughs> uh, trading we've seen in the last month or two. Uh, the highs were made up here, uh, 12,800. 
I had a big plunge down, of course, and of course a relief rally. It's very choppy, but let's see if we can find any Fibonacci retracement levels in here. Okay, here is the the actual high. This is ab absolutely a significant low, so let's apply our Fibonacci tool to that. So there's the most, that's the um, the um, the late the the earliest I should say the earliest pivot point which is the high move it down here and I'm anchoring it on this low here at the zero line it doesn't really matter these um, these numbers here um, d don't are not that significant because uh, because if you look at a retracement from this point. Uh, then that certainly is a 23% a retracement. But if you're looking at a retracement, counting it from this point, that's actually a 76% retracement line. But the important point is the placem placement of the lines. Now, I will say this, on, on my spread betting platform, they have been a bit naughty. They haven't actually put in the 76% line, which would lie up around here. Um, now that's that's an oversight on their part. What I what I do in this case, if the market is getting up into this area here, I will actually work it out by hand, and use my horizontal line tool, which I'll do now. I'll just show you briefly how I do it, and then anchor it there. So I know it's a bit clumsy, uh, but that's the best I can do with my uh, platform here. Okay, let's get rid of that. So now we have uh, a complicated rally. This rally did not did not stop at a recognized Fibonacci point, but this latest one, this is the latest high, did. There's a little overshoot with these two little tails, little pigtails. Now, uh, that's a little giveaway, actually. Um, if you're finding the market has rallied up to a recognized Fibonacci level, which which is 50% is a very solid level. Um, and if we find pigtails, in other words, a quick dart up and a quick zip back down again, this happened on both those days, then that's a, that's a pretty good indication that that's major resistance. And we should expect to see a dip from there. And in fact, we've got quite a substantial dip down to here.